So look, I go on Bourbon Street to get y'all some some pictures. And sure enough, a couple come out of nowhere. Hey, hey. I say, oh, yo, what's up? They was like, do you know where I could get get, get some cocaine? I'm like, yo, man, I, ain't, I don't have nothing to do with none of that. Then sure enough, a crackhead just appeared out of nowhere. and said, I got you, I got you. And he bought that shit from that damn crackhead. He probably, he probably sold him fucking sugar. That's sad. They didn't. They came out the uh, hotel room looking for cocaine. It's dead as a donut out here. I come from, oh, I just come from eating my dinner. I don't cook. I go to restaurants every day. Cooking just not my thing. What's up, Cole? You see this? You see how empty it is out there? Man, Bourbon Street, empty. Empty, empty, empty. Chilling, everybody chilling. Look, we went to the um, we went to the academy and Dick's, these sporting goods stores. All the weights was gone. I guess everybody at home working out. The bikes was gone. They had a few bikes left. But all, look, he just chilling. What's up, man? You chilling? You all right? He good. He got some orange juice right next to him. Yeah, so we go to the sporting goods store. At a line, people buying guns and everything. The only thing they wanted to buy was weightlifting equipment and guns. Uh oh, blue bike gang, blue bike gang. Looks like this restaurant was open. Well, to go. They, they got police everywhere. They got police and homeless people. It's safe out here. It's safer here than probably in your house. Look at these. Do, do they look like they're gonna do somebody or something? I don't know what he about to do. Let me get the camera off him. Look like he's about to pull his little weenie out. See how calm and peaceful it is? So y'all make sure y'all be careful in y'all house, you know, it's dangerous inside y'all house. Y'all be careful in there. You might slip and fall. Now on some real stuff though. I appreciate y'all concern, but I live a totally different lifestyle than most. Nothing I'm doing right now, I haven't been doing since I was like 10, 11 years old. I used to stay out to three, four in the morning in the French Quarter when I was a little kid. And I've been traveling and I've been around the world. This is how we living down here. So y'all make sure y'all be careful. Might as well since I'm right here. Might as well take y'all to Cafe Dumont since I'm right here. It's a ghost town. Nah, it wasn't even like this during Katrina. They, they had way more people out there during Katrina. There's less, there's less people. All the gutter punks, they packed up and left town. They got that fake love. They don't want to tough it out. As soon as the tourists left, all the gutter punks left. They, they, put, they pulled up their encampments and they left New Orleans. All my real junk is still hanging out with me. They ain't leave me. They still here. Mm-hmm. That's my dog, Raymond. What's happening, Raymond? That's my dog. From, 
from Douglas. That's my people there. Or the Carlise in there too. Who that is? That's the, see, I'm trying to walk and read. I can't I mess around and trip over something. That's the Alicia. That's all my Night War family. Angel, Night War family. Kevin, Alabama. That's my dog. He making moves straight up. Straight up. This is where, this is where we at. Look. Fortune teller out here. Fortune teller out here getting it. That's why I'm telling y'all, man. People be talking about some martial law, lockdown and all that. They just need social distancing. And look, I'm staying six feet away from people. Oh, no. I, I like to get this shot. Cafe Dumont got absolutely one customer right now. And look. It's still 24 hours. Still 24 hours. Let me go down this little alleyway right quick. Let, let's take, let's go down this alleyway. Hold on, know what? I'ma see who cooking tonight. Let's see who cooking. What up, Ann? You didn't, Ann in here? Ask him where the virus going away. Oh shit, he just cooking one all at a time. Let me leave this man alone. Hold on, we gonna go hitting camera on him. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get out of here, man. Well, they call the police on me. Pa 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 pa. How far is this one, babe? One more. You get out this food and you go on the other one, and you gonna see some dough in the glass too. Just go up in there. Yeah, they serve them one all at a time. Seems like right now, cold. They they serve them out. They serve them one at a time. It's a beautiful home right here. They renovated this about two years ago. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's pretty. Anywho, I'm about to go chill by the river for a little bit. Then I'm gonna roll out. Uh, 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 uh. Man, who this is walking a dog at night? It's a big dog. Do this look like martial law to y'all? Do this look like martial law? When I didn't walk down the street and about 20 state troopers didn't saw me and they ain't tell me nothing. Y'all better stop listening to them rumors. I'm gonna bring y'all the real rules, the real news. I bet they got somebody on the river. They'll be like, what you doing out here? I'm gonna say, man, my old lady sent me out here to get some beignets. Which way Cafe Dumont is? He gonna say, bitch, I hear that New Orleans accent. You know what Cafe Dumont is. Get your stupid ass mm -hmm. off this mm -hmm. river. <laughs> That's the Natchez. Hold on. I hear a trumpet player. Somebody playing the trumpet. Damn, it feel good out here. Hold on, man, it smell like diesel. I've been smelling that damn diesel smell for like three days. I think, I think, um, they was working on a boat. One of them spilled some diesel fluid. That shit is stink. Messing up our environment. Wow, it's chilly out here. Damn, it feel good out here on the river. It feel like air conditioned air. Mm -hmm. What up, Rico? 
Rico is safe. He, he ducked off. Rico ain't got nothing to worry about. Stay in a safe neighborhood. All the million dollar condos. Damn, it feel good out here. That's messed up, man. This stupid virus. You know how many people have been in New Orleans partying right now if this virus didn't come through? It probably rained one time this whole month. It's one of the best marches I ever could remember, as far as weather. What up, Jesse? My big brother just checked in, Jesse Ford. He in Houston. Satasha, what's happening, Satasha? God damn, girl, what you doing up? I thought you were asleep. All right. I'm about to get off this river before I get bit by a rat or something. You know they hungry. The tourists ain't been feeding them. The tourists ain't been dropping them no food. Ain't nobody here to feed the rats. They not gonna get my black ass. It's martial law. <laughs> Hold on. Get that focus right. There we go. Anyway, I'm about to turn around and head back. I haven't seen one person in a minute. Ooh, damn, it feels good up here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is our newest boat. I don't know how they got approved to build a dock right here, but we're not gonna go into that right now. But I'm just saying, this was a really nice view before they put this little artificial steamboat here a pedal boat it looked nice it looked clean but I don't know bruh <laughs> what the hell the street car still running I think that's the street car. I heard something. Yep, that's the street car. Man, what are you still doing working? I don't know, bro. I don't think it's martial law with the street car running. Y'all sure it's martial law out there? Oh, y'all sure? Anyway, we don't need to go way down now. Uh oh, that's the train. I definitely got to get from on this side now. It's nice out here, huh? Nice, nice. And look, when you get like by the river, for some reason, in this little section of the river, right here by the uh, Jackson Square, it feel good. It always feel kind of, kind of uh, cold and a little damp. I guess from the fall or something. Condensation. Anyway, it feels real good out here. And soon as you go back into the regular neighborhoods, it, it don't feel like that. The French quarters 
And Jackson Square has its own little climate. Anyways. Look at this. Damn. This is the parking lot. Wow. They don't have not one car out here. It's crazy. Go H and M. Damn, this thing empty. Man, this would be a dope picture right here. I have to come back another night and snap that. No cars in the way or nothing. See, that's the best time to take a picture right now without cars being in the way. Because if a certain model car in a picture, it dates it. And some, <laughs> some, some model cars don't age good. You know, they're going to look bad. Now, if you have a classic car in that, like a Chevy Cadillac or something like that, then that's cool. Kind of like in Cuba. You have all the classic cars in a picture with the um, old architecture, so that looks good. But you don't want like no no hate knocking nobody Mustang or something. But you don't want like a a 2004 Mustang in a picture, and then 10 years later your picture look dated. So this is the best time to get get good pictures of all this stuff when no cars are in it. And the absolute best time to get pictures is when the ground is wet. When it's dry, it look kind of dry. But when it's wet, that's what you want. Even if you gotta shoot the water down shoot the ground down with some water it still look good that's what they do um on movie sets too for film they wet the ground down i don't know if you're a photographer you know what i'm talking about once that especially the slate once you wet this slate down and take a picture of this architecture it pop you can't get a bad picture damn it's empty out here CVS open. CVS open. People need their prescriptions. But but yeah, y'all all wasn't in here early when I was on, on Bourbon Street. A couple came up to me and asked me that I have some cocaine. I'm the only person on the damn street. Y'all tweaking that hard. But a, a junkie crackhead looking dude came out of nowhere and served them though probably gave them boys some bacon soda bacon bacon soda look at that Anyway, I'm about to cut this off as soon as I get to this jazz musician. That's probably itchy. That sounds like that's itchy playing that, playing that horn. After a while, you start knowing what jazz musician it is by the way they play. That's my man Itchy. What's happening, man? I'm 10 bucks away, man. There you go, man. Keep it going. It's random. Oh, I'm live, I'm live, I'm live, Itchy. See Itchy? I see that. Where the fuck you 
I came from way over there, Itchy. I knew that was you by the way you play. <laughs> Look. I, <laughs> I just I just hit him with some hit him with some money. He out here doing his thing, you gotta respect it. Whenever I videotape my trumpet players, my musicians always tip them. And I don't tip them no one dollar. You gotta come out your pocket with five or ten. One dollar don't work no more. I'ma holla at y'all. I'll post uh, my Bourbon Street pictures. Y'all gonna like that. Y'all gonna like that. Later. Hold on, hold on. Hold, hold the fuck. My bad, I ain't even, hold on. I ain't about to go yet. I gotta read through these comments. I didn't know y'all was coming. My bad, my bad. Let me stop right quick. For sure. Uh, <laughs> y'all funny. Yeah, you know, artists make the ground wet. Yeah, yeah, they do, they do. They paint reflections off the ground. Hell yeah, I'll be walking through your favorite places, little mama. All right, I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. I got some um, pictures to post for y'all. They about to come up later.